part six of why I decided how to transition. Um, I'm going to keep reading my list that I was uh, reading. Look for the other parts of the video if you just came upon this one. Um, pro con list of having, having to deal with identity, people's reactions, and daily living. Pros can finally be called a boy like I f and feel like it's true. Um, can go by he without feeling like I'm lying. Still be in the middle of the gender spectrum, but more towards the person that I've always imagined myself to be. Becoming part of the trans community. So those are my pros. Cons. It's expensive. Having to explain to co-workers that don't already know to refer, me, to, refer to me with male pronouns. That wasn't a big deal. Um, I don't know. I was probably... I don't know how many months I was on testosterone at that point. Maybe six. Six is when I told my family. Well, my parents. I just told the rest of my family. Um, I don't know. It might have been more like seven or eight months. Or maybe even four. I really have no idea. But they were very supportive of all my coworkers. Sorry. I just sent them an email and a lot of them sent things back. So that was good. Um, another con. Running into people I've known since I was five years old. Since I still live in the town I grew up in, uh, it'll just be more awkward, but it won't bother me much because I'll be the person I want to be. Having to tell my family that their daughter is now a son and dealing with their loss and disappointment. More important need to um, change my name legally, which I did before I started T, and it was actually legal like a couple weeks after I started. Um, bathroom issues may be worse, going to the women's room or whatever. Um, going in the men's room and getting beat up, who knows. The men's rooms are disgusting, can I just say that? I um, feel like no one will ever be able to figure out who or what I really am. Like, uh, known I was female, but now I'm male. Um, being excluded from the lesbian community and lose women to women connection. Um, and I still struggle with some of that stuff, especially, um, kind of being excluded from the lesbian community. Um, you know, former friends are totally fine, but, you know, other people just look right past me and don't understand and don't know me, which is fine, you know, it's their loss. But anytime I see a, a cute lesbian couple, and, and not that they're cute, attractive, sexually, or anything like that, but cute as in, you know, two in love, you know, cute little lesbian couple, um, you know, always makes me sad, and, and I like to being viewed like that. Um... So it is hard, and I just don't like being excluded from that community. But that's really the the only thing that I still struggle with and and what I have been struggling with for a while. I forgot to look what time I started again. Oh, well. Um, so that's some of the stuff that I wrote. I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, and then I stopped looking because I just couldn't... <clears throat> Do it anymore. Um, but I think I covered pretty much everything on my list. So it was a long struggle, and, and mainly because I didn't want to be a man, and I struggled with what that would mean to be seen as a man. Um, but now that you know, some people do see me as a man or a boy, I don't know, I'm fine with it. People that know and love me know to just see me as me and, and not as any gender. Um, I don't care really what uh, pronouns you use. I like male pronouns in public or with people I don't know. That way I don't have to explain and they don't question, you know, because they're just going to stop listening to anything you're saying because they're just going to be confused. But other than that, I don't really care. Um, so it was a hard process um, for both Megan and I to go through. She did break up with me for a very short time, but, you know, moved out, but always wanted to come back. Um, you know, we want each other back, but we let there be a month or so so we could kind of figure things out. And so she, I would know that she really wanted, you know, to be back and that's what she wanted. It took her a while. It took her, her uh, some time for, her, especially her friends would try and talk her out of it. Mostly because they wanted to sleep with her or whatever. But thank goodness she didn't do that. Um, so it was a really hard process, but I'm glad that I went through it. I love the fact that um, I have a lower voice. That's made me more comfortable. 
com comfortable and confident and, and I can actually um, talk and not not like that my voice is so high. Um, I like that I get more muscles easy. That's a plus. Uh, I didn't really have much fat redistribution because I don't really have much fat, but I know there's, a, you know, not like a little pouch right on your inner thigh. I never had any butt fat, so that was about it, just that little patch of my... Um, uh, I've got thicker muscles, like, with my all my muscles, but my neck, so that's nice. I get a little Adam's apple. Uh, I just really want a lower voice, and I'm glad that happened. Um, I could take or leave the hair. I'm fine with not having a whole bunch of hair. Um, but I do now, and it takes a while to get used to. You've got to grow on you. Um, didn't mean to say that. Um, but you'll get used to it. Um, I don't know, I'm just happy. I'm, I will always identify, I think, as being trans or queer. Because I don't just want to be one or the other. I don't just want to be a straight man. And I don't know. That's just me. It's fine if you just want to be a straight man. And you feel like that. But for me that's just not how it is. Um, I'm queer. And that's how it goes. So I don't know. That is my transition. Why transition kind of video. I'm sure I miss things that I'll want to go back and add later. But if you have any questions. Or comments or whatever, shoot me a message or anything like that, uh, comment, and it's always good to hear from you guys, you guys have been a great support um, through me for all the years, so I hope that I can be a support for people too, um, but that's it, hope you guys are having a good day and spring is coming your way, alright, talk to you later.